Last clap sync. Fuck, man. Don't Last say Last clap. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Man, fuck you. I actually am, like, <laughs> lightly emotional that that's the last podcast clap sync. So sad. That's true. Um, honestly, you could you could put the whole last clap sync in there. Why not? Honestly, I kind of expect you to. Did you expect him to before I said that? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I, I know. I know Noah, yeah. and he, he just likes putting the last clap in there. So this is a, uh, yeah, this is this is a, uh, a big a big day. A huge day, in fact. Um. And I got, I've got a, a an announcement uh, to make. Oh, fire yeah. away! Let's hear this after, announcement. After after years of a of a, of a long arduous journey, I've uh, I've I've finally done it. What did you do? I have uh, I've caught up with One Piece. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> I'm, I did it. I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you. I I have As expected your answer moment, to be you killed OTA <laughs> five years I, of the worst. I, you finally did it. <laughs> I finally did it. A goal I set out to the whole time, destroying this podcast. Um, yeah, one piece. But though. No, I, That's I, huge. I, I've caught final up. Villain yeah. Arc. Yeah, it's, it's it's fitting. Uh, I I technically as of this day have like nine episodes until I'm caught up. You've caught but up. But like That's, by the time that it airs, yeah. I'll I'll be I'll be caught up. Um, yeah, I that's. I mean, let's be real. Nine episodes in an over a thousand episode like series. Oh, I mean, it's by Thursday. By Thursday, there'll be zero. Exactly. As no, of I today, mean, like, I'm that's saying like, few. that's nothing. That's a, a drop in the bucket. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's awesome, though. Congratulations. Yeah, I've I've done it. I'm there. And you did it legit, right? You weren't doing it um, bit by bit. What do you mean bit by bit? Or, uh, not bit by bit, but you uh, you watched it all and didn't skip things, skip around. Yeah, you watched it all. You didn't watch like a uh, episode recap videos. No, yeah, I did watch the episodes. I did just skip some like clip show episodes and like nonsense filler. Because mm-hmm. um, like sometimes there'll, there'll be like two episodes where they're just like, "Hey, remember that time?" Mm, so true. So and then they're just like literally, <laughs> like the character will be like, "It's just like that one." time. They don't actually say it or spell it out, but like in sometimes like emotional moments, they'll like cut to like old clips from the show for like. 90% of the episode when they're trying to like give the animators more time. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that's so I, I skipped some of those, but yeah, for the most part, just a thousand sixty something episodes, thousand sixty nine right now. Episodes. Yeah, jeez. And the the best one that I've seen to date was a uh, thousand and fifteen. Damn, oh my god, yeah. the real One Piece really was starting now. <sighs> kind of, but no, that, that was the that's the, hasn't happened yet. That was just in the manga, it hasn't gotten the anime yet. I know. Damn. I hate this. But yeah, it's it's crazy. I won't lie to you; it is a little insane. I am like not angry, shook, but shook nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like 300 hours. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. That's like two weeks of gaming for the average Counter Strike player. Damn, nice. <laughs> Sick Counter Strike burn. What are they gonna do? Listen to the podcast? No, they're playing 300 hours of Counter Strike every two weeks. They don't have time. They gotta grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like making fun of the Amish, you know. Only this time the Amish are in ranked lobbies. Do you think there's ranked Amish? There are, yeah. You know, as I said it out loud, I realized, no, that's literally kind of like a big thing is uh, if you're Amish enough. <laughs> so, never mind. Yeah, they have like a, like a pretty strict like class structure, actually. Mm-hmm. Crazy hierarchy. I suppose that's life, though. Anybody else have a big announcement to make? I mean, th- no, I'm, I'm, I don't have there? anything. I, I feel like, I, I mean, I started... I definitely talked about when I started watching One Piece on the podcast, and that was probably like two, three years ago now. I think it was like a two-year process. That's honestly, that's not as much as I would have thought. Honestly, yeah. Huh. No, the episodes are 20 minutes. I guess that does, uh, those are easy enough to catch up with if you just devote a little bit of time, I suppose. Yeah, you skip the, skip the theme song, skip the outro. Now the episode's 10 minutes. And you got like minutes. a 17, 18-minute <laughs> show. Sometimes there'll be like a one-minute recap every once in a while, so like even then you can cut it down even more sometimes, but... True little life. Um, uh, what, what is so? So the one piece, real one piece, is, is the friends we made along the way. I got that far. Not quite. Uh, I guess. I guess the only way to ask this is, was it worth? Was it worth it? I mean, genuinely, like it's. I, I don't think that there's ever been like a piece of media that has such a like a a depth of understanding of like fairy tales and folklore, and also has been consistently uh, at the level that it is Fair for enough. this long. That's that's good enough for me. Like it's crazy. It's 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 impressive that like 
a lot of the best episodes and some of the like the best times are like fairly early on sometimes in the middle like every every arc every saga has like a series highs that's awesome yeah it's pretty cool and so like especially like the author is like a big fan of like traditional theater Mm -hmm. and like acting and like folklore and fairy tales and that all like bleeds through in the way that they do like a lot of genre bending hell yeah hell yeah i love that and there's pirates I mean, that is the most important part, right? That's like the whole point. King of the pirates, yeah. Gotta love pirates. You don't have to love pirates. That's like the other thing I love about like the storytelling of it is like, it starts off like episode one. Luffy's like, I'm going to be king of the pirates. So like, it's like, yeah, like from day one, you're like, that's the plan. And he's the story, like the, about the, the, whole, in, the whole thing. And he's like, never not up front. Like there's never a moment where he's like, maybe I can't. He's like, I gotta. <laughs> like regardless of a. Uh, so it's just a, a question of how, you know, of how how one becomes king of the pirates, you mean? Yeah. Fair enough. And then you kind of figure out how one becomes king of the pirates. But then you're like, well, how are you going to do that? It's and you're like, OK, well, this is how you're going to do it. But you got to do this to do that. And you're like, oh, shit. How are you going to do that? There's all, there's all these steps in the way. Because it's almost like everybody kind of wants uh, to be king of the pirates. Not me, though. I think that's Blackbeard and Blackbeard kind of sealed the deal. No reason to try and upset that guy. He was kind of crazy. He was kind of cringe is what he was. Blackbeard is just still alive. He's just like a, a he, crazy guy. He lives in Vegas now, right? Yeah. Um, no, I think he's like him and Corn Cob or whoever. Him and the Corn Cob. For a while. <laughs> Who the hell is Corn Cob? It's Carrot Top. <laughs> him. Carrot Top. <laughs> I liked. I really liked him and Corn Cob for what it's worth. Carrot Top. No. It's one of your. It's one of your better bits, Noah. That was a good one. I like that one. Well, thank good you. Work. So Carrot Top harasses. Blackbeard in Vegas. Do you want to hear a funny uh, round circle moment that uh, we have here for the podcast? I would love I, to. I, want to, I want to try and drag yeah. it back here a well, little bit. Yes, okay. yes, well, yes, name yes. one other type of circle first. Um, a squared circle. Not that I know of. Isn't that a Isn't tool song? No, it's the... Is that wrestling? The I squared, squared circle, circle is, is wrestling. Have I say. thought. The squared yeah, circle. Yeah, pro is wrestling. Like a, yeah. Anyway, what were you saying? Anyway, what, what I was going to say is... Uh, you know, it's I was flipping through uh, episode titles, right? Mm-hmm. As one does when you're Noah. Well, I just I wanted to see uh, what has happened, right? And mm-hmm. I was um, punched in the face with the memory of cutting my ankle really bad on a <laughs> random broken like piece of glass on my bedroom yeah. floor in the Corey yeah. apartment, mm-hmm. like right before we started recording. Mm-hmm. And, when was this? Uh, Two thousand eighteen, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Yeah, you were mad at me because I all I had to clean it because I was living in Bachelor City. The only cleaning thing I had was Everclear, so I put Everclear and a Band-Aid on it. And you were mad that's at fine, me. Though. I think that's a weird thing to be mad at. That's fine. I'm glad we have all agreed that it is fine now. That's a disinfectant. That, that was my logic, you know? And I wasn't going to drink the Everclear. Cause that's Look, if it's sucks. good enough for a Civil War soldier, it's good enough for Noah. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, I uh, I am in the middle of a really wicked gout flare up again. So like, here we are, touchstones of the podcast. You know, we talked about furries. We talked about a uh, flat Earth. Another one, Noah having foot issues. <laughs> Man, Noah's feet are a recurring bit. But you gotta be careful with that, that though, because the that more Noah you hasn't talk, showed off his feet pics yet. To be honest, well, I'm gonna say the more you talk about your feet being a problem, the less people are gonna pay for pictures. True. That's true. That is true. So you you've sunk your foot value, and I worry that by proximity, that Dan and my foot value have also uh, been affected by this. You know what? I would like to officially apologize to you two. I didn't think about how my issues might affect your foot value, and they I do. am sorry. And this is something that, like, is it's definitely a key reason as to why, like, I'm, I'm pulling out of the podcast because mm-hmm. it's just, I, you know, it's hurting my, my bottom line. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The bottom line being the flats of your feet. Yeah. I was thinking about actually... <laughs> I was thinking about actually, like, cut, cutting into the skin under my feet and putting, like, a lemon wedge in there, right? Oh, make, make a boob feet. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that would sell. It would also probably sting. It would probably Ouch. hurt a lot, yeah. Ouch. I don't like this. Neither do I. Um no. This is it, you guys. This is the this is we're going out on gout, feet picks, and furries. Of course. Is there any going other out the way, way we came in? 
There's really, there truly though is no other way for us to go out like this though. No, you I know? agree, one hundred percent. Man, we used to we used to have such shit tier takes. Oh yeah, a thousand percent. I just love uh, our second episode. All movies are bad? Question mark. But then just four episodes later, Sam Raimi's Spider Man is good. Yeah, dude. We to be fair, we were a still finding our stride in a, for a lot of things. At least I know I sure was. Oh, without a doubt. And B, like we've talked about it, but like we all have grown a lot over the years for this, for like through this podcast, like a lot. I, I was literally living in Austin, like working at a restaurant, yeah, exactly. and live streaming. Yeah, you were you were live streaming and office living, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that was the beginning. You were, um, let's see. Dan was still in Philly. Sure was. I was living in Cory. I was still in college in Philly. You were still in college in Philly. I hadn't even started college. Exactly. And I've graduated now. <laughs> and been working for six months. It's crazy. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I've been doing this like, a I long time. I wasn't even in college when we started. For like the first year. And then completed an entire degree. Yeah. we've 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 been doing this a long time. I... Definitely have stuff, as much as I do the whole, oh, I, I won't look back and won't regret anything, I definitely have stuff that I'm not proud of in those early episodes. Uh, oh, I have, yeah, oh, yeah. tons. Uh, loads but, of shit. But, it, unfortunately, in the first episode, Juggalo Home Improvement, there yeah. are some takes and statements I don't stand by at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but Except for the whole Juggalo Home Improvement thing, that was like a good idea. 100%. That's still, no. that's Juggalo still Home our Improvement. best. Gen- the fact that that is our first episode and yet still relevant to this day is just a testament well, to it's how a good, good idea. I was say, it's a testament how good of an idea it was. It's objectively a great idea. And it kicked off the entire OTA TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I personally and will Bigfoot, always bigger love... Bigfoot, Bigger Ally. I was going to say, Bigfoot, Bigger Ally is the one that I really liked. I love Bigfoot, Bigger Ally. That's That one's, that one's always going to have a special place in my heart. I love the idea of it being like... Like an Ellen style show, almost, exactly. where it's just like Bigfoot sitting on a a log that, lo, like a stump mm-hmm, seat mm-hmm. that's been and carved Bigfoot into Bigger a seat. Ally, the Bud Light controversy would have been just a home run for that program. It really, oh my have. god, yeah. I tell you, Dylan Mulvaney on the program mm-hmm. talking about it. Eh, I just watching Bigfoot, Bigfoot down shotgun a like five <laughs> or six tall boys. Mm-hmm, that's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Oh fun. god. What's up? So oh, no. I just I'm I'm flipping through some other like old episodes, right? Um, mm-hmm. you know, one year of podcasting was live before we actually got suspended from Twitter for. Um, oh man, that was like that was our wild old too. um our old profile header used to say too explosive to fly, <laughs> and in <laughs> in, in hindsight, hindsight <laughs> that one maybe wasn't our best move. But, you know, uh, we finally got Twitter back. But that was when I was going to visit Nina for the first time. Oh, my God. And we yeah. had pre-recorded that episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I had crunched so much time editing, like, three episodes in one week so that we wouldn't have to think about it. And I was getting on the airplane to fly to Seattle trying actively to troubleshoot because I didn't know what happened and I was the only one with access to it uh, at the moment because I was the only one with the login for the email. (laughs) Yep, yep, yep. But then uh, right above that, um, Saints Row 5. Amazing that we talked about Saints Row 5 for just like five minutes there. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, why? I, like, we never followed up on that. No, no, we didn't. I don't know what Saints Row 5 is. Garbage. Like, it it, it exists. It does. Although, I think it's just called Saints Row now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a reboot of the franchise kind of thing, and it sucked, apparently. I don't remember Saints Row 2, you gotta play on the Xbox. Have you heard about this? So true. I've also heard you gotta play it on the Xbox. I've never heard this. Can you explain? Well, you see... Yeah, so Saints Row 2. Yeah. You You don't get the DLC for Saints Row 2 if you don't play it on the original Xbox. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, Jackson's Hot Car Corner. No, oh, that was the episode I recorded. We had a lot of corners. Was that the one at the outside the gas station, or was that the one outside the Starbucks? Uh, I think this was the one outside the <laughs> McDonald's. Oh, there were three. Yeah, there were there were a couple. No, the McDonald's was the gas station. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it was a McDonald's and a truck stop. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because we did that a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Back when I didn't have Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Because they, they, they don't have Wi-Fi where I lived back then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wild. That was the uh, the Rebel Flag House, right in Ohio. No, that was uh, that's like where I live now. They just didn't have service there. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I never ended up living in that house. It got torn down. Yeah. That's, seems like it was for the it best. It was decaying. <laughs> it was condemned. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot that has changed, you know? Uh, no and I'm I both, definitely happy with the change. No and I both got married? We did both yeah. get married. That is crazy. And honestly, Noah only, like, not only, but, like, in large part to the existence of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, almost fully in existence of the podcast, if we're being honest. Yeah. I, I don't know how it couldn't be... I don't know how it could have happened any other way. Like, eh, who knows? I mean, that's true. The Life world's a crazy a place. Let's see. Somewhere between episodes like 13 and 19, uh, which would have been November to December, um, Nina shit talked me in Jackson's Discord server. Correct. And then I offered to shout her out for doing something for us. And then Hi comes in to just drop that. Twitter account on me where Nina ha- had uh, over 900, I believe, at the time followers, maybe almost a thousand followers. Mm-hmm. And I-, I felt like a big old idiot when I said that. I'm like, oh, yeah, you don't need me to uh, to do that. Now I, you know, foot in my mouth there. And it was really funny. And then we mm-hmm. had Nina on an episode. So like the day we recorded was the day before like their birthday or something and, and dan and i know. bulldozed right through that and he was like well that's my birthday and dan and i are like hoo, 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 just doing something that sounds like us yep. wow listen wow. we we did that bandersnatch episode in january we've done a lot that was a that was a bonus content episode i'll probably upload that somewhere in here so that it's accessible uh once the whole thing shuts down there's yeah there's a lot there's a lot a lot i i'm i'm proud you know what i am actually truly proud of the work that we've done no no i am too are you kidding me uh jackson and i were talking about this while we were waiting for you to walk the dog is just like there's a lot of time and effort put into this and i'm thrilled to say not including the one bonus episode by getting to episode 260 which is this one Mm -hmm. we have enough episodes for you to listen to one episode a day for five straight years that's well, one episode uh, a day? Not, not quite. Or one, one episode, episode, I'm a sorry, week. a week. One episode Jesus. a week. I was going to say, <laughs> Noah, that's not how math works at no, all, it's not. sir. One episode a week for five straight years. Yeah. See, that's one of the things with, like, Mari's, like, been listening through, like, most of the entire back catalog oh of the God. podcast. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's what I keep saying. Um, just <laughs> like, oh. Because then I should be like, why did you say this? I'm like, it was four years ago, and I don't know. <laughs> like, the short answer, I don't know. The long answer, I really don't know. <laughs> short answer we were all shitheads and a little bit of an edgelord and long answer please don't ask <laughs> we yeah. got better but like i'm just i'm also always surprised i'm like you're you still have more and she's like yeah there's still a lot more yeah to be listened to which is kind of nice knowing that it exists as like a fairly long form body of work yeah a, a testament to ourselves and our growth in a way yeah i agree um and it's tangible where like at one point, because because Mario even said something to me, and like about how towards the beginning of the podcast there was an episode in which Noah said something about being more conservative than either of us. That's true. Ironically, or like out of the three, he's like being the conservative out of the three of us. I was, yeah. And like it's just crazy because I I think back then I don't know where I was at like politically, um, but I think it was same well more or less same area I'm in now, just less understanding of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think at that point. But I don't also have like a maybe not quite. Yeah, like I, I don't remember exactly where I was. I mean, I don't know exactly where it I was. was definitely, but I was definitely on on like a pretty far left trend by then. Mine definitely took a while to like. I feel like you two both rode that train faster than I did. Um, yeah, I think honestly, here's the thing, right? Over the course of this whole thing, when all we did was talk about like lightly touching on current events Mm -hmm. uh but in a in like the fun current events Mm -hmm. and then yeah like when they did surgery on a grape exactly they did surgery on a grape you know that never entered our podcast i don't think someone's gonna tell me i'm wrong and that it was like i think it was before the podcast yeah i've definitely said it before as like a as like a you know it's kind of like hitting somebody who's just like saying bazinga out of nowhere exactly it's like Mm -hmm. why would you do that i think they did surgery on a grape has hit that to your I feel mm-hmm. like I've done that throughout the years, but I can respect that. To be honest, that's how we all should view surgery on a grape. To be fair, well, they did it, so they did. Anyway, you were saying Noah. I don't know. It, I think that due to just you know sitting down and talking for an hour to an hour and a half every single week, 
Mm-hmm. I think we all really did figure out who we were, though, more, right? Because for sure, you know, you come you in had to defend and, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You firstly, we had to defend our stances. Secondly, when you come in, and one of the things is, man, I just I hate how work treated me this week, and then you are immediately greeted with Jackson saying. Well, you see, comrade, that is because even though it was like fifty percent a bit back then, right? But I mean, it Jackson, was like or maybe not thirty percent a bit. But like it, it was, it was, uh, it was not a bit in that I genuinely fully believed it. But it was a bit in that it didn't need to be phrased that way or brought up. Yeah. But like, but I loved it could be any time that worked. happened. And Jackson's just like, well, you see, comrade, that's because the um your boss doesn't care about you, and uh, we all need to band together and seize the means of production, and we all laugh. We have a good time. Ha ha, Jackson the communist. But then, you know, time passes and it's like, actually, no, they they really don't care about us, do they? <laughs> Wait a minute. They don't Thank care Thank you. About I have us. probably radicalized dozens of people through my strategy and I will likely be executed by the CIA within the coming months. So true. So true, bestie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there are dozens of us. <laughs> there are... <laughs> but I think that, like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was it was like... It was something I genuinely believed in, but presented as a bit because it was also a bit. Yeah. And like you can genuinely believe in something and also turn it into a bit. Can confirm uh, me as a person. Even when the podcast is dead and gone, I'm going to keep doing bits. That's one thing I, I make. A, I make a promise to my fellow Americans. Uh, I, I will continue doing bits. You know what? So brave. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you can for you, your service. Can you imagine not like doing bits as part of your daily life, though? Some people don't do bits. I, I some don't people get aren't it. Bit doers. I don't know. I just, some people are just how some wrong. people are. That's what they are. Some people take themselves too seriously. It's just kind of. Yeah, I've always got time to make something into a bit. Oh, mm-hmm. I I will I will make time for bits. You gotta. It's it's just an objectively better way to live. Yeah. By the way, uh, do we know? Do we remember anything about the title? I don't want to watch history of slurs. Um. No, but no. <laughs> It sounds like us. But I don't want to. Yeah, it was one I of our COVID episodes. Well, I know they made a history of swears. And Nicholas Th- Cage that might have been it. Yeah. I did watch that with Michelle, it, and, and that I feel was like fun. we discussed that. That was it. Like Dan probably discussed that. And then I, I'm willing to bet Dan, Noah, or myself, given that, uh, you know, that's a pretty good... If we put those three people in a, in a pot and pull an in from a hat, it's pretty likely to be a yes answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the three of us probably said... What if they made a history of slurs? <laughs> and then to that, I'm willing to bet that most likely either Noah or myself said, I don't want to watch a history of slurs. slurs. <laughs> yeah. And I probably said something to the effect of, oh, you know what? I actually might watch that. Yeah, that's that sounds that sounds about right. It's kind of like. I, Guys, can we I, put I, our podcasts into an AI generator? And just I would let say it, we don't need to. Can we just, just let it go? Can we just uh, create bits like can the th- can we can we just have like someone be like what would what would the podcast say if this happened and then not like all together no but, but over like, time we just individually those. Yep. it's kind of like how um at one point i messaged i think i've talked about this on the podcast too but at one point i was talking to nina about something or other and like musk ox came up and i was just like laughing i think it was either at work or over like the internet but i, I can't remember i think it was at work and i was like i can just imagine like the Deets siblings mm-hmm. and the word musk ox coming up. And then I it, I feel like if I was in a room with Noah, Edge, and Jeff, and I was like, you know, what, what it, it is, like, a, what, it, what do people use, like, a musk ox for? What's a musk ox? And I feel like Noah would be like, oh, I think it's, like, some kind of, like, yak. It does, like, yak-adjacent things, maybe, like, hauling a pack. And I know Jeff would be like, eh, it's got to have something to do with the musk. <laughs> <laughs> and then Edge would be like, I musk ox you a question. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I feel like that's kind of like I love when when groups have a have a vibe where you're like that that person said this this and that. I do feel it took like it took us a while to also find our vibe in a way that like we weren't at least for me. I mean, mm-hmm. look, I know I know this is a shocker. At least for me, it was hard to find a vibe where it wasn't ending in some form of like frustration by the end of it. You know, that's fair. That's fair, and I think that's largely my fault because I never thought that was happening. That's fair because like. I forget that like people get mad. People get so mad because like I right don't now? really get mad. Some people so, are like, mad right now. Yeah, like I'm not so mad. Bitches are mad right now. <laughs> but like I, I, and, like, I, I mean it. Though. Like I, I did kind of like, like I feel like there were times where people were like, oh, I can't believe like Dan Jackson like 
don't like each other. Yeah, no, like, nah, exactly. it's just like a bit. It's just, well, and it's a bit of like. But then I forget that like you're like that was not funny or like that was at the expense of someone else. I'm like, yeah, but it was a bit. Exactly. It it definitely took time, but I I do think that like we found we sure as fuck found it. Like we got there. Yeah. Took our damn sweet time with it, but you know, sooner or later, I guess I tolerated Jackson as a human being. So Roll true. So some people are saying that Jackson can be tolerated. Many people are even saying this. Mm, I don't know about that me. far. <laughs> <laughs> Reports are saying it's many people are now. saying that Jackson can sometimes be tolerated for sure. That's that's true. Um, Sources say so much for the tolerant left. Frankly, that's honestly the best point. So uh, you, thank you, thank you. Do you guys want a uh, a cool information point for the I would podcast? Love some, sure. Do we have data? We have some. We have some cool data that I've uh, cracked open. Actually, let me see if I can get some other data while I'm uh, talking about this. But do you want to know how well. many episodes we have had pre-COVID versus after COVID? I would love to. Uh, let me guess. Let me, let me break it down. Pre-COVID, I'm willing to bet we had 92. Post-COVID, I'm willing to bet we had 148. I really hope that Wait, you're Wait, does that like... add up to 260? Yeah, sure. No. Not. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really close. We had okay. 84 episodes pre-COVID. And okay, really, and post. episode 84 is probably really tenuous because that one came out in uh, March 19th. Mm. Okay, and so we had like, what, 156 afterwards? 176? Uh, 176 that were okay. post-COVID episodes. Um, we recorded a bunch of episodes in a row because I was going with Nina to go drive their car back from Seattle. And the world shut down on our way back from the I trip. remember that. You, and you, you were out running it. Yeah. Like, obviously, you know, no one knew what was happening, but borders never shut down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True. Um, borders Bookstore but, did, though. Yeah, borders Bookstore did. But, you know, borders never shut down. But we're driving through areas and it's like nothing. And we're like, so is it nothing because it's nothing? Or is it nothing because of we COVID? Entered the apocalypse. And that was such a weird feeling. It is yeah. insane to think about how much stuff has happened since this. Because, like, in my mind, because we kept the tag Corona Cast on the podcast for. Did we I, really? Yeah, we had Corona Cast on here <laughs> for probably two years, or maybe it was a year and a half, waiting for it to like officially be done. And then we just gave up on it because we're like, oh, we'll tag all the episodes that were made during COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we it's most of them. we eventually gave up on that i couldn't imagine why yeah but i, I just, just remember when we ooh. went to dan's to record in person that for was a video so, episode. that was fun i wish yeah. we'd gotten to do one or two more of those honestly that was another one of those where it was like that was a mid-covid thing where it was like mm -hmm. yeah I, I i just think remember it being like are we gonna get like canceled for this are we like yeah doing, we definitely had those is this like are people gonna be like too mad at us yeah for like Breaking not the, interacting with anyone and like going across state lines mm -hmm. into someone else's house like and then they're gonna, we're like no of course not mm -hmm. but like it was a point where we're like oh, is that too much are people gonna be like we we hate you guys now yeah we we had a long talk about not bringing up covid at all when it first got like really bad yeah, yeah. i remember us making a distinct choice to be like hey so we'll it's happening <laughs> we're just not mm -hmm. going to talk about it because we feel like we want to be a spot where you don't have to think about it yep and, and then eventually it got to the point where we were like, it, it, no one, well, it's not being so stressful in yeah. a way. It, it's all, it got to the point where you can't, like, you, what are you supposed to do? Like, yeah. And, and also like the pandemic became less of a, like, eminent, like doom world ending threat mm -hmm. and more of a, we kind of have like a somewhat of an understanding, please God, just take the facts. Are you kidding me? No, yeah. you're not gonna, mm -hmm. it's going to get worse. Okay. Okay, bud. <laughs> but, like, then it became more of an exasperation than, like, a fear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't talk about a lot of stuff. Yeah, we... we... There's some crazy stuff that happened. But it's not about the outside world, you know? Mm -hmm. And it never was. Uh, I think it's only about the outside world. It's about the juggalos, and that counts as the outside world, but they're insular. It's about the furries, and that counts as the outside world. <laughs> but, but again, they're, they're insular. They're very insular. <laughs> Dan, remember when we lied about having advanced copies of Cyberpunk 2077 and then just made shit up for an episode? That was, that was like fucking good. To, I I would do that as an entire like ongoing series. I think that was so funny. I firstly, I would love, you make up some crazy lie like you can alter the size of your penis on your character? Nothing but that I mean, outrageous. No, we already yeah. actually we, the thing is we already knew that one. 
Yeah, I think that one was very well known pre release. Mm-hmm. That's that still is such a funny thing to me. Right. Oh, it's, it's so dumb. You want a hog Ugh. or you want just a dick? <laughs> I, imagine, and I also imagine was, having just the be like, just being like, I actually want a micro penis. That's that's my thing. Okay, well, if that was an option, like, I mean, I mean, true, but still, you'd have to pick it. Would like, you like your micro penis cut or uncut, sir? I don't think that one was an option, actually. It was. Was it? it yeah, was. because there was a there was this uh, thing going or you could around. Just do for the a thing I did, which is where people check that don't care, <laughs> don't talk about genitals. This is I don't want to see player character genitals in this game. Mm-hmm. No, because there was a, a Reddit post that went around saying. Everyone's making fun of me because my character has a circumcised penis. There, I go into a sex scene and then nothing happens and they just point and laugh at me. I thought this game was supposed to be a fun escapist experience, but instead it's just like my everyday <laughs> life. <laughs> I There is an ongoing bit in um, my D&D group um, about how... Oh, someone will say something like off off base or off color and then someone else will respond, hey, 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 this is a fantasy game. And I think that joke it will never get old, quite that frankly. That is a very good joke. It's a it's a good he who funny. It's right up there with uh, doing the Steve Harvey voice going, this is a family podcast. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been 123 episodes since we did our biggest Muppet Red Flag video. That was a good episode. Man, okay, so here's here's the thing, right? There's a part of me that just... I've only recorded two and a half seasons of this show, dead on half of it, roundabout, in mm-hmm. my current apartment. Yeah. So, like, you know, you know Jackson has the, uh, the fun of having been, like, in two different states. And technically Same. you as well, but, like, yeah. Jackson's was also time zone difference. True. And... I think four apartments or four living places in two states for me. Yeah. And... There's just so much time has passed while we do this. Time, are and you trying to tell me that time has kept on slipping into the future? Yeah. Cool. So was that not a Limp no, reference? I'll, I'll take it. Sure. Whatever. I was kidding. It's, uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, five years of this shit and no selling Noah. Still funny. <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyway. <laughs> Jungle um, Cruise was a hundred episodes ago, hundred and four to be don't precise. Don't even talk to me about Jungle Cruise. I would rather, yeah, I would also like to not talk about Jungle Cruise. I hate that movie. <laughs> All my homies hate Jungle Cruise. Ninety-eight episodes. Cruise? I kept dropping softballs that Jackson was lobbing at me, and then at the end of the episode was just Jackson berating me for missing every joke that he said. I want to know what the big softball was though, because there were that I do remember because the, there, there, there was lot. one that I was like. There's no way. You said something, it was a, it was a, it was about audibletrial.com slash off the air. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And you were like, oh, I wonder where you could get, um, where could you find that? Do you think? But you weren't doing the, the ad read voice. So you're like, yeah, oh, where, like, where do you think you could find that? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, the library, maybe Amazon. And you're like, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Like, is there any service that you think you could find that book you're talking about? People should check out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was, that one was rough. I'm pretty sure I even yelled at you for that one. You did. I, we stopped doing the uh, the uh, Audible plugs for after a while. Yeah, well, I mean, the reason was they changed their platform. I didn't log into the podcast email often enough, and I lost uh, access to our account. So I don't actually know if our discount code still even works, uh, uh, but I cannot only way to find it. out. Yeah, I mean, hey, shit, if you can use it, use it. Yeah, dude. Get, but I would recommend breath. using someone else's that uh, is more active. <laughs> um, also... We have, now we did not start using this program um, right away. So we are missing, I think, the first approximate year episode, yeah. of our uh, our time together, right? Mm-hmm. It's our time. It's our time down here. But out there, I it's think, their time. Let's see. It's their time out there. Firstly, uh, shout out to Mari for being 37% of our listener base. Um, Hell yeah. Because our Taiwanese <laughs> listening <laughs> uh, segment wow. yeah, that's, is so that's, she's big. Doing, she's doing work. She's really putting the work in. She's doing work. Let's see. It looks like all time downloads, uh, according to this, ha- let's see, 6,186 podcast listens. Goddamn. Since we started tracking. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a lot. Right? That's cool. That is That's neat. Cool. I don't know, man. It's It's so cool to be able to look at this stuff so far down the line 
and just see where it's uh, where it's ended up for us. Yeah. You know, we were uh, we talked a little bit about how much we have changed. You know, mm-hmm. I wasn't changed. I wasn't a band in the middle of this. I joined so and true. left a band in the middle of the podcast. Yeah. The fact that I had time to be in a band, have a long distance relationship and edit the podcast. And I was streaming more frequently then. How did yeah, I do that? You didn't have people that you talk to in your day to day real life. Oh, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. No, that's because the same thing has happened. Mm, uh, my work hours were more consistent, too. That, too. Yeah, I uh, worked from, what, 10 to 6 every day. Yep. That was pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That does sound pretty nice. Could not be me. There was but, the episode yeah. where I got super drunk on gin. I took, what, like 13 There were the shots episodes when I was naked. Yeah, episodes with <laughs> Naked Jackson. Could even be this one. Who knows? Could be. I wouldn't know. I'll never tell. No. We probably Let's all had at least on one Discord. naked episode, right? I have never had a naked episode. No. Oh, L. I, I, so history will never remember your name. I don't, because my office chair is like a fancy gamer chair, so I don't oh. sit in it naked. No, you know what? That's super fair. Um, uh, but I never sat less clothes ass than on others, chair. Sure. Yeah, I, that, never ass on chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, there was always like blankets involved because I mean, like I would be cold. But it was mm-hmm. mostly for me. It was a boxer recording. A boxer recording for sure, dude. I remember one day when it was just you and me and I'm like, hey, to get some back and forth flow, do you want to turn on cameras and like chat that way? And you're like, I am not decent. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> had to had to kindly tell you to uh, that I actually would hate that a lot. So instead, I turned my camera on and I did a standing recording and I gestured all over the place. And it was honestly, I think it was the most plugged in I've ever been to a recording. No, no, unfortunately forgot to plug his microphone in over the last few years. So true. So true. Just like Carlos, our best friend, Carlos. It just sucks. We forgot, you know, Uh, I feel like at a certain point, it wasn't so much forgot and much more just he's our best friend. You can listen. Sometimes best friends are needed in different, you know, situations. He's our best friend. How could you say that? Uh, he was everything to us. <laughs> he d- he did it all. <laughs> when no one else was there for us. Where was Carlos? Carlos was. You just you just no one else could hear him. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but he was. I dude. I promise. No, dude. I it, it this isn't the bit we're doing. Carlos has been here yeah, the whole like, time. Guarantee. You. He was there. It's just like, it's complicated. (laughs) Carlos is complicated. Carlos has a lot going on. Okay. I think we all just need to accept that Carlos is busy. So true. And which is why we'll never bring it up again. There's just so much that's (laughs) changed. There's just so much that's changed over over all the years. But I'm like definitely happy with the person I've become. And I think that's the biggest step. Yeah. 100%. I'm, I, the, the podcast has given me at, access for lack of a better word but it has broadened my horizons as far as just people like almost as much as my entire college career um i have reformed friendships out of this uh fucking entity podcast sam and i became friends because i randomly reached out to her when i found out that you and her were facebook friends and then we and we're back to being she was she was in my wedding party yeah that's great that is cool we were able to rekindle that uh would and by extension, I'm friends with Kenzie, who is, again, stealing my wife as we speak. I think that was last week. Or, no, earlier today. Whatever. Still. Still actively stealing my wife. But it it's crazy. It it, it, cha- it has definitely changed. Like, well, and not, not for nothing. Like, also the community that we built that I really, I expect, I hope, I plan, I pray, doesn't really change much because just because the podcast is ending. It is a community that I'm extraordinarily proud of. I I do actively take a lot of pride in the fact that, like, this community is fucking great. Like, everyone involved is a good people. Like, we, we've we built a, the community ostensibly around the podcast, sure. And, yeah, a lot of that was just, you know, yeah, we kept people around in, in different channels. But, like, that's it still took work. It still is something that we, that I, you know, attribute directly to the podcast. We wouldn't have been able to get all these groups, all these different people together in the same place. Otherwise, Mm -hmm. I take a lot of pride. I take a lot of pride in the work we've done. I think, um, to pull it to uh, meta commentary momentarily, that some of our all time best bits, uh, have, and will continue to be us forgetting whether we're talking about the podcast in a now sense 
or mm-hmm. if we're talking about the podcast in a as we all know it is Thursday when we're recording what do you mean we it's yeah. all happens on Thursday yeah exactly um, so, you know, we'll say, well, I mean, you know, like right now, a, a couple weeks ago, I accidentally said last night when <laughs> we recorded a full week beforehand. I'm like, you know, last night when Jackson was talking about whatever, totally just like rolled through it, did not even think about it until I was editing. And I'm like, why did I say last <laughs> night? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> In no sense does that make sense. That makes me happy, though. Like it, it, Because not only did we record on the same day, but also it was a week ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It, well, it happened a week ago, and then it happened a second time because he was a, you were hanging out last night. Obviously. Yeah, Jackson and I were talking uh, through. We uh, we have the transcript of the podcast, and we were talking through it. Uh, we're professionals we're that way. It. Yeah, you were, we, all the all the review that we've done. God, and that's why we remember things that happened. The fact that we have a fucking wiki is insane. There were things in there that I did not remember at all. Um, that feels right somehow. And then there, and then I brought it up, and Edge was just like, "Yeah, Dingus, I sent you that." Uh, so, well, you know, that was kind of too funny. bad. Did I'm you know sure. that we had uh, nicknames on nope. uh, on the thing? On the, it was like we had our wiki name, but then there was a redirect name exclusively just to give us a nickname. That's very funny. Dan, do, do you have the pretzel them? snitch bitch, Jackson Beer Boy, Noah, All Beans host. Oh, we you've done a beer corner in so long. I like the beer corners. I just don't really drink. That's fair. That's and honest to God, that's a good reason. Yeah, it's kind of just like a waste of money. Because even like at the end of the beer corner, they they were just like sitting in my fridge forever. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh my God! Oh, I haven't said all beans in a while. I have. I haven't. It's almost like I never said it. <laughs> no, you definitely said it was your catchphrase for a while. Oh, so it, true. You did say it for a long time. Otherwise, you know, if Carlos' mic would work, he would confirm it for us. And there's nothing else Noah ever said. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god! Honestly, that that bit just shows what a bunch of fucking shitheads we were back then. I, the... I'll be honest with you, man. As a bit, it's vi- still pretty funny. It's it's a good it basis a good, accusation in right? a vacuum, but it doesn't hold up when people who don't know the people having the conversation are just listening in. Exactly, a hundred percent. Like. I I stand by that as a joke to tell. I do what not joke? stand. Nothing happened. I do not. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I stand by that as a, as as a, a announcement that it happened. I do not stand by it as something that has to go out into the world and people listen to and could actively affect any part of Noah's actual day to day life. That was my yeah, main concern, happened. right? <laughs> it, a, a valid and correct concern, to be fair. <laughs> Us punching into an episode and Jackson's like, I can't believe Noah said the N word seconds before the podcast started. <laughs> I got I got no defense that, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Sit there saying, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you can't prove I did. I didn't. That, that just sounds worse, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's it's not a good look. There's a certain amount it's, of denying like, you can do and then there's a certain amount of denying that you cannot do. Yeah, it's in those moments where, like, truly I was like, uh, it was the Salem witch trials all over again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was no winning and I was going to get my neighbor's property. Hey, honestly, you deserve it. No. <laughs> you deserve it, King. I mean, thank you, but no. <laughs> Is the neighbor Noah in this metaphor? Then yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine then. I'm always the neighbor in this metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you know, the, probably the bigger issue was that when at the beginning of the podcast, no, I didn't, I wasn't saying it. No. Uh, before mm-hmm. anyone says something, but also because I was a lot more conservative then. At the beginning, yeah. That's I, true. I yeah. think the... Uh, the internal any- fear that it's like, well, people will definitely think it happened. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody who knew you or I don't even think anybody who listened and didn't know you would ever actually think that it happened. And yet it's definitely no, man. No, people definitely could have believed it. It's not that far of a stretch. I I don't think you're giving yourself anywhere near enough credit. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. I think that it wouldn't be very believable. I don't think anyone who is anyone would or could believe it. It just isn't like it just, it just ain't Noah. It just ain't it. It just ain't you. You know, you know what? Remember, also, when I wasn't going to bring up the specific bit because I thought it was is dropped from the annals of history. It was. But <laughs> I mean, like history? it's it's the end. We may as well address the fact that it was very like we have multiple times, but it was. Oh, a so bit. you're saying the end word. I'm saying the, the end, end word. word. <laughs> I like that. All right, fine. You can Thank have that you. one. I'll accept Thank it. Thank you. Nice. I think it's really fun that I used to be uh, the squeaky clean host was my entire thing. 
Mm -hmm. because I was like working at a church for so much of this or I was having mm -hmm. to maintain such a specific like public image because of who I was like spending time with. Yeah. Now look how far you've fallen. And I had to I had to be so careful about that and I finally was letting myself like let loose a little bit and then I got a job at the church again and I had to lock down again. I remember that. Yeah. You went you went back to the church. You buffoon. You absolutely Man, I buffoon. I needed a fucking job. No, I Hey, listen. <laughs> I have I mentioned the fact that I have been unemployed multiple times like oh my god dan enough. i get it fuck man you're unemployed oh my god, god it's my, whole, a new it's personality my whole personality right now god that's all i have man Watch all me. i have is this thing i don't have exactly <laughs> it's just, it's this guy gets typical it. american mindset all i am is what i am absent of yep many people are saying this i'm saying it i'm but, many people well, no one cares about that oh, okay you're like one person yeah at best i contain multitudes one person at best. That's so true, Bestie. Side note, I don't know why that's been picked up in my brain the last little while. So true, but Bestie? Yeah, I really enjoy a good So True, Bestie. You've been doing it for a while. I know. So True has fallen out from me. I'm I'm into uh, he's true, she's true, they're true. I like true as a noun. True as a noun is pretty or, good. I guess true is maybe even an adjective. True is a state of being. Like, oh yeah, no, he's true. Yeah, 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 yeah doesn't mean I agree with you. It just means you are true. Mm -hmm. It just it doesn't mean you're like, correct. Yeah, you know, talking about uh, old Flat Earth when he's talking about uh, the Earth being flat and the Nephilim uh, are running yeah, that, everything no, and not... aliens are actually demons. You're like, he's true. No, he's not true for that. If he was like, <laughs> soup isn't a meal for me, I'm like, yeah, he's true. But like, I, I'm a hater. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Like, you're like, I know, I know what you're saying is something you mean and that you believe and it's defensible. But like, so you're true. Mm. Doesn't mean I have to like you for it. But then sometimes you're like, oh, that he's he's so true. If someone was like, soup is totally a meal, you're like, oh, he's so true. <laughs> so true, bestie. <laughs> why would you why would you do this to me at the very end of the podcast? <laughs> we just recorded, you were almost on my side. Now you're now you're shit talking me. No, I'm just saying he's true. Hmm. He's true doesn't mean good or bad. It just acknowledges that one is living their own reality in a way that they see is fit. Yeah. They're, they're, they're and sometimes you approve, even. sometimes you don't. But that second he's true is a, I approve he's true. Mm -hmm. a, a, a he's true of approval, one might even call it. It's like something being shit versus something being the shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like he's true versus he's so true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, every now and then I get back into Northern Lion and I, I get right back on my so true train. So true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I haven't talked about Northern Lion enough in a while. Yeah. That's true. But... <laughs> I don't watch this stuff as much because there's not as much of it. <clears throat> it depends, right? Because I've and very little of it is made for YouTube anymore, and I don't really like streamers. Like I don't really like streaming nearly as much because mm -hmm. most of the time it's just not that entertaining. Oh, like his mm -hmm. Isaac videos like, always were great. Uh, R.I.P. Yeah. End of an era. Uh, never did gonna see finally... Isaac again. I was to say, is this? Did he finally actually end this time, or is this another? Oh, a while ago. Yeah, well, no, ages he... ago. Didn't he? But he stopped like four times. Did he not? Yes. No. Well, he had a he had a couple episode hiccup, and he's like, "Hey, that's not bad." You know what was it? Twenty years of Isaac, not twenty years, I know, but you know, like ten years or whatever of Isaac content, where he's like, "Hey, this is our first hiccup." I even backlogged episodes for the birth of my daughter. I shouldn't have done that. That's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after he had a kid, he just like stop mostly making content for YouTube. Only like one thing every once in a while. And it was the rest super of it's all just streamed and then chopped and uploaded, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But it's just like not your thing yeah. as much. See, I do love though. I don't know if you watched his uh, bridge builders because those are that's bit. good stream content because it is man who doesn't understand physics to save his life at a chat that's full of really people who are confident like, that he does. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, hear me out triangle <laughs> yeah i feel like northern line is one of those people I've, I've i've been a fan of since i was in like middle school oh yeah for sure um like seventh grade and that's uh, back great. when he used to put on his weird youtuber voice yeah back when it was like very beginning isaac and like dark souls one because two wasn't out yet love that it's another one of those things that's been a consistent um staple throughout the the history of the podcast is the souls games true Kind of yeah, is, we've talked about it? them. We've talked about them a lot over the over yeah. the millennia. Very much one of my favorite. Always comes in like cycles. Mm -hmm. Well, you um, can't just play them forever. You know, they they do get exhausting if you play them for too long. In my opinion, yeah. But after a while away, you'd be like, you know, I could go for some Dark Souls too. You know, one of my th 
I, I've talked about this a lot where one of my favorite things to do on this podcast is overproduce. Mm -hmm. And I really love overproducing like random little episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with a little bit more writing, the off the case episode would have been like a real hitter I, rather than I just love, a. I love I love it. Yeah, that was a fun. That one. was right? so fun. I had a lot of fun with that. And as episode 99, it was just like a fun little thing rolling into uh, our next year. That was neat. Um, it's all the Halloween episodes with Edge where I would just make mm -hmm. some random like creepy music thing and try and like get it all going. Mm -hmm. There was the one where the creepy foster read was like 40 minutes. I yeah. love that one. Well, that one, I think, might be a little less palatable for the average uh, listener. Oh, it was. Yeah, probably hard to listen to. But it was also the funnest thing to edit because it's just a bunch of like chaotic noises and the Kefka laugh. <laughs> God, that was Kept playing that Kefka laugh. I always hated that sound. God, it's not oh, creepy pasta writers. Oh, so that I love doing stuff like that. The uh, the 4th of July episode where Nina and I recorded on 4th of July and I was worried about hearing fireworks. So I just pretended we were in the woods. <laughs> but by pretending that we were in the woods, I, I said, well, Nina, as you know, we're in the woods around a campfire. And Nina started choking. And I'm like, <laughs> so if you hear any noises like outside sounds, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and Nina's like, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely where we are. Because I, we, as we started recording, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit the intro. Just roll with me, and then we'll talk about this. And that's what, that was the intro. It's just, just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can roll with that. As we all know, we're in the woods. Don't think about it. <laughs> Joy, frankly, I remember the first, uh, first ever solo episode that I ended up doing that one time. I, I will say, I have gone the entire podcast career at this point, and I have not had to do a purely solo episode i've done episodes that are like just me and dave i've done like side content for that but i have not had to do a solo a full solo episode and i am grateful for that because i hate that as a concept it's bad enough that i stream by myself some of the time Ugh, no 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 i'm no did you ever do a just solo episode that's that's what i was wondering i'm, I'm gonna try and find out see I if i can i only did one right i didn't do two you've done two you've done two i've done two i think i did one I'm like 90% sure you did exactly one, Noah. I just got to find Two Jackson's. Songs. And then from there, I can find all the rest of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't know what Jackson's was. I also don't remember what Jackson's was. I don't remember at all. All I, I remember about. is Jackson opened and ended with the phrase, heavy is the head that wears the Naruto headband. That's probably true. Yep, You're like, heavy so. is the head that wears the Naruto headband. Hi, I'm Jackson. Yeah, we had like, I'd like, it's hard to fill an hour of just like talking. It is. Without a script. Yeah, no, it's a lot. I, there's a reason that I intentionally have not done it yet. And, and now we'll never have to. We'll not do it. Yeah. I'm free at long last. That is one of the things that I am, I am going to miss a lot is, is like the, not the community, not the community, because that's not going anywhere. The sense of having something that is being created regularly. That's not just my stream stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, because I I do I I am gonna miss that a lot. I enjoy this so fucking much on that regard. Um, it lets me scratch a creative itch that I otherwise wouldn't. Um, but I think it is all. I think it ending is also gonna be something that I hope forces me to actually go touch some of the other projects that I've let sit for like a decade. Yeah, and so that's kind of where I'm at. Where like it doesn't. It does kind of scratch a creative itch, but not really anymore. Mm -hmm. Where, like, I don't, like, it's not really, it doesn't really feel like creating something new anymore. It just feels like maintaining something. That's, I think it's very fair. And, like, you know, not, like, it's because It's because you hate us and you don't respect us, I get it. Oh, but, you know. You know what? I think we only ever had two Jackson solo episodes. And then yeah, the. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, no, but then there was OTA 3 Season of the Witch. That one was fun. Where it was, uh, yeah, our all mini, of us our multi, doing our own yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. multi-solo. Heavy yeah, as the Head was know, I just, not I feel the like... first solo episode. Oh my god. Sorry, uh, did, go ahead. No, go off. I mean, it's, it's a fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I definitely will want to work on or create or do more projects in the future. Um, who knows? Maybe even something like streaming again. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But just want to like do different things yeah. sometimes. We've been, doing a, we've been doing this for five years. It's, it's, we've, it's run its course. We're done now. We're done. We're done. But it was a lot of fun though. Oh my god. It was, it was so much fun. I, I don't think I, have I don't think it's gonna get like actually hit me that this is over for a couple weeks. Oh, for oh for sure. sure. 
it just feels too routine. Mm-hmm. The Discord is still too alive. Not like too is a bad thing, but like you know what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it'll be a little while of nothing hitting the Discord uh, announcement box. Well, the thing is, is like that still comes through with a lot of. Well, I guess the main announce, mainline announcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say because the the Discord isn't going. I mean, and I do feel like we should just like real quick throw that out there is that the Discord isn't going anywhere. No, it, yeah, we, it, it'll end up getting re- repurposed for something eventually. It'll probably. I don't see any reason for us to change the name. No, 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 no. I figure we'll change the uh, the categories. Um, like we we'll probably get rid of the host guest section with the ex- or like we'll archive it. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll rename the host category to X hosts. You know, funny yeah. things. Yeah, but that's all inside baseball. That'll yeah, it'll shuffle its way down the down, down the, the pipeline the, down the pipeline eventually. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it's yeah, been it's around. been one week since you looked at me. Are you span? It's actually been about. Um, assuming you listened at midnight, it's been about seventeen hours. That's nineteen me. hours. I don't. Yeah. Approve. Final episode though. Bye. Any <laughs> final thoughts? Any closing thoughts? Gratitude, and I yeah. know that's like. No, you're right. Like, it's a little a bit biggie. like up my own up my own ass. Like whatever. Fucking mm. this is my YouTube apology video, but but genuinely. Uh, this the, like truly a sense of like for if, everyone who has shown up for any fucking amount of time and even in like in the discord listen to it whatever like this if was a people dumb want to get mad at us beginning. for being like happy and like grateful i don't think anyone would yeah i think i think i think you guys I are think, hedging your bets a lot i think against people that aren't gonna no i wasn't that. i no, wasn't gonna I hedge my bets enemy of the podcast uh, sam is going to send me a message before the end of today thursday and i'm gonna get a whole it's gonna be a whole thing it's gonna be all ah oh, i can't believe you were honest and genuine on the podcast and i'll have to just fucking deal with that that's what i think is gonna happen i mean uh, that's uh, you know frankly that's the biggest uh development of all isn't it in a way, Dan willing to be emotionally vulnerable for a moment on the in, podcast. In honest. a way, like, listen, fam, I'm working on it. OK, <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, proud of you. Like, unironically, <laughs> like, I'll, I don't know. We've come a I've become a lot less of a weirdo sheltered kid because mm-hmm. I'm nothing against my parents. I wasn't truly as well. Yeah, right. I yeah, wasn't right. truly as sheltered as uh, many of my homeschool peers. Many people that were saying. But, you know, it's. But you were homeschooled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was homeschooled. Oh, my God. Let's get over that. <laughs> God, no. I pick another personality trait. Uh-huh. But, you know, like, uh, you know, it's it's nice to have gotten away from that uh-huh. and to become more of like a, more person? Of a person, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I feel know. that. I, well, and because I, I started that journey, like that, that growth in college and with genuinely with the people here and the people that we surrounded ourselves with was able to have a kind of a safe spot to continue to let myself grow and i am grateful for that as well Uh, it's something that i do not take for granted even a little bit all right i'm done i'm done with being genuine that's that let's get out of here um all right what a yeah that's that's a that's a wrap we can't we all like uh should we do like a synchronized we can't end it goodbye or something no we can't end it like that i we have to end it like something well jackson do you have anything that you want to say because dan said something do you want to say anything um, I, I don't know. I like, I enjoy doing it a lot and I, I have a, I feel a lack of definitely, I don't know. There's, there's nothing to like, uh, no reason to, to, to moan, but I, I, en- I enjoy doing the podcast a lot and I think it's really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to miss yeah. this. And I think it's, it's been really cool having this podcast exist. Uh, documenting the first time I ever spoke to my wife is a wild mm-hmm. thing that I was able to do. Yeah, that's weird. You know, that's nice. That's not what I said. Growing as a yeah, whatever. Growing a a media guy, okay. (laughs) No, you are. You're you do more media stuff. You have done more media stuff at this point than I have. Yeah, you also did more stuff for the podcast than any of us. Yeah, by a oh yeah, by a huge margin. By the way, like I I don't know if like people know that, but like I I I mentioned and I, I have helped out here and there, but like. 99% 99% of the work is all Noah. I want to say I have edited 257 of the episodes. Yeah, something like that. And that's not meant as a dig. That's just like, you know, I, I'm i the one that, not to try and like steal co-ownership of the podcast, but you know, I'm the one no, that dragged us all together. And then yeah. I'm the one that 
uh, took on the editing responsibility because frankly, if you're going to try and con people into joining a podcast with you and then you also try and get them to edit, that kind of sucks, right? <laughs> uh, I don't but, know. I, I think that I think that there is a world in which you could have like really doubled down and been like, no, Dan, I need you to actually do something. Well, no, but like I could have, but you know, you were busy and I was also busy, but you were busy in different ways and I felt like you were less available to do this. And frankly... After you knock out a couple of these episodes, you really get a flow for it. That's true. Like, I can I can edit one of these episodes in an afternoon, start to finish. Like, I'll probably get both of these done before Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, frankly, but that's you, stupid. It was a I don't know if any of you guys know what editing audio is like, but I shouldn't be able to knock this out like that. It's just like, we all record really pretty clean audio and it just kind of flows together. Damn, I can't believe we end up, we started out as friends and we ended up being professionals. Oh, we kind of did though, didn't we? I don't know. It's this is this is the longest running single project um, that is a passion project that I have ever been involved with. Because uh, at obviously. the beginning of this podcast, I was still blogging, mm -hmm. but uh, I killed that in the first year. Like uh, before it was all done, I stopped blogging. I was daily blogger, daily blogger for was four a thing years, that people did. and then I was a weekly podcaster. And now I have a second podcast that I uh, thank God I stopped having to edit that one because that was that was sinking my life too much too much to do. But uh, shout out to Jeff, thank you. I don't know. I'm I'm really pleased with everything that we've done over these last five years. Uh, obviously, like we said, there's a lot of takes in the early episodes that none of us stand by anymore. We've all grown as people. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and I feel like that shows that like pretty much all of those takes have been. Our, our stances on them changing have been pretty verbally reflected in the way that For we sure, yeah. present 100%. ourselves going forward. Yeah, not even a question. It we we grew. We've we all grown, and we all grew it's a lot. Very cool. It's very cool. It's very cool to. I hope that someday I have the like mental energy to go back through some of the older stuff like that and look and say, "Wow, look at look at look me as a child," right? Mm -hmm. Not in a not in a way that makes you sad about it, but in a way that's no, uh, not at all. you know, be like, hey, I came a long way, rather than just finding like some weirdo chat log on Reddit from, uh, you know, ten years ago. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah, all that to say, uh, thanks you for listening, everyone. Yeah, thanks really, for uh, being here. Meant a lot, means a lot, and uh, will continue to mean a lot for a long time. Bye. Bye. Fine. 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 Fine.